So June is well and truly underway, and that means it is yet again time for another episode of the best Nova Launcher setup. Today is episode 14, would you believe? And I've got three new setups to showcase to you guys today that are not only really visually appealing, but also super functional as well. But before we get onto the episode, I wanna to talk to you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available to teach you a whole range of skills such as cinematography, editing, motion graphics, plus heaps more. It's available for Mac and PC, but also on iOS and Android devices, and you can also download any course for offline viewing. I'm currently watching a cinematography course by Sean Tracy called Cinematography Techniques for One Man Band Filmmakers, which is something I'm super into as not only am I constantly on the lookout for ways to upskill and improve my own cinematography, but I'm also more often than not shooting on my own. So this class provides some really interesting and insightful tips and tricks. Premium membership starts at around $10 a month. And this gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields. But for the first 500 people to sign up using the link down in the description below, you can get two months of Skillshare absolutely free. So first up, we have Nick's one-page setup, which has this really nice material design look to it. It's got lots of functionality baked in as well. So let's take a look at what is used to make this setup look and work the way that it does. Starting with that wallpaper, this is obviously what gives the entire setup that very material design-esque look and feel. And this is one that Nick has sent through directly, which is great. But the way that he's utilized this wallpaper to influence his widgets and icon placement really ties in nicely and gives the overall setup such a distinct look. And speaking of widgets, up the top left, we have a time, date, and day widget. This is a modified version of a widget that comes from the minimal UI widget pack for Zuper Widget Pro. And this is a really clean looking widget. It doesn't take up too much space either, which I like. And those little colorful line accents help to keep things consistent with the overall theme. You can obviously set that widget up so that when you tap on it, it opens your application of choice. And so for me, I have it set up to launch the calendar application. Over on the right side of the homepage is a battery percentage widget. This one also comes from the minimal UI widget pack, but it is modified a fair bit to produce the look you see here. I've got this one set up to launch into the battery settings. Coming down the bottom there, we have three application folders with the grid preview setting enabled within the Nova Launcher settings. And within these are a range of applications using icons from the Candy Cons icon pack. You can obviously set these folders up to feature whatever apps you'd like, but Nick had these set up as social, multimedia, and productivity folders respectively. Beneath these folders is a custom white rectangle widget, which has been made and sent through directly by Nick. And this again helps to keep everything in line with that material design look and feel. Down the bottom, we have a rounded white dock with just one folder of applications sitting on top, filled with a range of commonly used utility applications. Aside from that, the app drawer is fairly standard, nothing too special about it, but that is about it for this setup. A great looking one, in my opinion. So next up, we have Harishi Kesh's three-page setup. Apologies if I've mispronounced your name there, but I've had this setup saved for quite a while now because of how cool it looks. And so today I finally thought it was time to showcase it. So starting with that very awesome wallpaper, I'm not 100% sure where Harishi Kesh found this one, but he has sent it through directly, which is great. And it's been labeled Hell Train, which I think is very accurate. But what I really like about this wallpaper is that the lake down the bottom there serves as a perfect spot for placing widgets or app icons, and it makes everything within the setup just look very organized and intentional. On top of that frosted lake, we have a time, date, battery percentage, and day widget, which comes from the Fox for Zuper widget pack. And the look of this widget ties in very nicely with the overall setup, and again, helps the setup to look very cohesive. Moving up from there, we have a row of icons, two folder icons out on the edge, and then in between those are three application icons, and all of these apps are using icons from the Desaturate icon pack. Above that, we have a Google search bar widget. This is one of the stock ones that Nova Launcher provides. The dot icons on the right of it also serve as the trigger for jumping into the app drawer. Moving to the next page, and here you can see we have a full screen to-do list widget, which comes from the Tick Tick application, and I think it looks pretty good here. And then moving over to the third page, you can see this page also only has one widget on it, this one being a widget from the Eternity widget pack for Zupa. And this has been customized so that it has the initials of whoever phone this setup is on. Now, I don't mind this third page, but I also wouldn't mind not having it as well if I wanted to clean this setup just a little. Moving into the app drawer, the only thing I wanted to really show you here is that the Desaturate icon, while it looks really cool here, doesn't have full coverage for all of the apps that I have installed. But apart from that, that is it for this setup. Great job. And last but not least, we have a one page setup sent in by Mahin. And this has some really interesting elements throughout that make it look and feel the way that it does. So let's dive in and check them out. 
First and foremost, that wallpaper. Now, this comes from the Particle Constellations live wallpaper application. And I've actually featured this on my channel before, but as the name would suggest, this app allows you to set up these Particle Constellation style vectors so that you can have them moving in the background. It's a really minimal approach to having a live wallpaper. And I definitely like what it adds to this setup here. Following that up the top, we have a weather widget, which comes courtesy of the Today Weather application. And I like the look of this one. It looks simple and clean, but also gives a good range of weather information, which is nice. Coming down below that, we have the same time, date and day widget that Nick used in his setup, but this time with the original color scheme. And again, this is from the minimal UI for Zuper widget pack. And then within that widget, he's also placed in a self-made battery bar percentage widget, which is placed over on the right. Down below that, we have our dock. And at the top of the dock is a row of eight application icons, which in my mind, at least, would normally make a setup feel cramped and cluttered. But the icon pack he's using here, which is called the H2O icon pack, given the uniformity in the shape of the icons, kind of helps make things not feel too cluttered, which is great. Below that is a music bar widget, which comes from the goo.io widget pack for KWGT. This has been slightly edited to make it look the way that it does here. And I've seen a similar use of that space in a previous setup. And I do really like it because it still looks like a search bar, but acts as something completely different, which is nice. Swiping into the app drawer reveals a fairly stock standard app drawer, which is fine. But aside from that, another great setup with a familiar yet unique at the same time design and with some great looking widgets used throughout. But aside from that, that is it for today's video. As always, links to each and every asset, including the Nova backup files will be included down in the description below. So if you wanna load these setups onto your own devices, then those links will get you on your way. And if you're having trouble loading the setups onto your own devices, then I've also placed a how-to instructional video down in the description as well. If you wanna see your setup featured in one of these episodes, then I've also placed a link to the submission video. So make sure you check that out if you wanna have your own setup featured. Don't forget to let me know which of the setups in today's episode was your favorite and why down in the comments below but aside from that that is it from me thank you guys very much for watching and i will catch you later